The word defibrillator for today, we'll be trusting God for a word from within the word. Hmm. First Peter 2. Now, the verse for today is going to be verse 13. But I want to take it back just a little, just to establish a foundation. Once you were not a people at all, but now you are God's people. Once were unpitted, but now you are pitted and have received mercy. Beloved, I implore you as aliens and strangers and exiles in this world to abstain from the sensual urges, the evil desires, the passions of the flesh, your lower nature that wage war against the soul. Conduct yourselves properly, honorably, righteously among the Gentiles, so that although they may slander you as evildoers, yet they may, by witnessing your good deeds, come to glorify God in the day of inspection, when God shall look upon you and wanderers as a pastor or a shepherd looks over his flock. And that's so nice, eh? God looking over it. Can you just imagine there? He's sitting on the rock, David, and he's looking at his flock and how proud he is and how thankful he is and the eye of protection and the, the ear of concern and the heart of love towards the flock. Verse 13. Be submissive to every human institution and authority for the sake of the Lord, whether it be to the emperor as supreme. Now, hold on a second. What happens if I don't like the authority? Well, what is it saying here? Be submissive. Now, submission actually means to give before, not because. You give your will to an authority before the authority requires it of you. You see, because if they've got to force you to make it happen, that's not submission. That is them making you submit. But it is an act of the heart. So you have a heart to serve before they ask you to serve. Now, it is a bit difficult at times when you've got to deal with your parents' attitude and the decisions that they make that you don't necessarily agree with. The boss that you're working for, oh my gosh, who makes decisions like that? Well, what about the government that you should be serving and praying for? Because this is what it says. Be submissive to every human institution and authority for the sake of the Lord, whether it be to the emperor as supreme or to governors as sent by him to bring vengeance, punishment, justice to those who do wrong and to encourage those who do good service. For it is God's will and intention that by doing right, your good and honest lives should silence, muzzle, gag the ignorant charges and ill-informed criticisms of foolish persons. Live as free people, yet without employing your freedom as a pretext for wickedness, but live at all times as servants of God. Show respect for all men, treat them honorably, love the brotherhood, the Christian fraternity, fraternity of which Christ is the head. Reverence God, honor the emperor. <laughs> You who are household servants, be submissive to your masters with all proper respect, not only to those who are kind and considerate and reasonable, but also to those who are surely overbearing, unjust and crooked. My word. Verse 19. For one is regarded favorably, is approved acceptable and thankworthy, if as in the sight of God he endures the pain of unjust suffering. After all, what kind of glory is there in it if when you're doing wrong and are punished for it, you take it patiently? But if you bear patiently with suffering, which results when you do right, and that is undeserved, it is acceptable and pleasing to God. So he's not saying that that authority over you is making right decisions. He's not saying that he is agreeing with him at all. What he is saying to us is keep your head up. Keep the faith. Who shall defend God's elect, 
except for God himself. Take up your position, stand firm, and watch how the Lord your God will deliver you. Keep it clean on your side. When at all possible, live at peace with your neighbor, allowing enough space for my wrath, for vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Just because you're a child of God doesn't excuse you from obeying authority. He's saying obey that authority. Whether it's doing right or wrong, I am going to sort them out. I will walk in. I will defend you. I will vindicate you. But keep your hands clean. Because I'm still going to deal with you if you're going to step out of line. You cannot make the excuse and go, oh, well, you know, Lord, they made me do it. Or look how they mistreated me. They were wrong. I was right. God's saying, well, that's suffering. Is when you are doing right and they are mistreating you. That is totally undeserved. But God will be totally pleased with you. And you and I will be clean of that. And he will take on those that are coming up against you. But we cannot use other people's behavior, other people's decisions, to justify why we don't have to follow the word of God. We are free people. We are in Christ. And we are visitors, as it says, here on earth. But don't act arrogant, superior, and don't use your kingdom status to try and excuse you for what is required. You're not of this world, but we are in it. And God is saying, serve me as you serve those authorities around you. And in that, I will rescue you. I will deliver you. Show respect for all men. That is finding value in people. Sure, we do know that when people are in a position of authority, it doesn't mean they are clever. It doesn't even mean they know what they're doing. For some people, it's just a title. But for us, we are still there to serve God's agenda in that person's life. And we do it unto him. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wake-up call. I thank you, Father. For this wake up call that irrespective of what's happening in our lives father irrespective if we know the difference between right and wrong and what should be done and what shouldn't be done father we are there to serve your agenda in people's lives and we need to respect people even though we are free father i do not take that lightly and i do not take it to abuse my world i take it to serve the world around me and father i know that you will defend us. I know that you will show up on our behalf, Father. We just need to stay true that when people look upon us and can say, no, it was not him, it was not her, they stayed straight throughout this whole, whole ordeal. Lord, I thank you right now for the deliverance of those who need it from those authorities that are abusive, Father. We know that a true authority, as you are, ultimate leader is there to serve and protect pray that you change those authorities' hearts where they get an understanding that they're there to serve and protect the people for the sake of the people. Thank you, Father, that you are our provider. We thank you that you are our protector. We thank you for your grace and your mercy upon our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen.